I don't remember if I said it a lot during the first playthrough. This game is gorgeous. This game looks great. Not really saying much in uh, the year 2019. But still, still looks great. And from what I can gather, if I just follow the bro, brodacious bradical, uh, if I follow what I was doing for this part, up until the Conrad thing, I think we'll be fine. Alec, bro, 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 Bralix, bro. So I'm just gonna follow the same story beats. Think we got enough, bro? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. If you've I've never been down there before. If yeah, you run out of beer on the middle of the ocean, it's gonna take a while for backup to get to you. How the pros do it. As we find it's out. Serious. In more dire circumstances. You mean, are you serious? You came out here without taking any lessons. Uh, kind of, yeah. Bro, 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 bro. It's embarrassing, bro. It's. It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are. You know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Bro, I was invited, bro. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Uh, must be tough, brah. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision. Why are we zooming in on that? About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Except if it's underwater and something on, hey. like on top of the water is exploding. Bro, fiance soon, Julia. Bro, the king of the bros. Move over, Matt Riddle. I'll try to keep you alive this time, Conrad. I, I promise. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Pussy destroyer, right here, bro. Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Okay, I gotta I got talk about this. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta pick on this. So, they have never introduced each other to each other's families? Right? They've been dating for like a while at least. This is the first time Conrad is meeting Alex. This is the first time Brad is meeting Julia. They've never met before this, which Alex has planned out to be the time he proposes. That's a little weird, isn't it? I feel like that's really weird. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I, I don't know. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. I love that amber uh, liquid. Broski. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't. Ruin it. I don't think I. You ever do any diving before? I don't think I caught that he called him Bradical. 
gloomy uh, all the time, bro. Yeah. Totally. All the time. Play it cool. I, I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. <laughs> I feel like we should have had this, uh, this acquaintance thing. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Before, before this point, Fliss! Impatient and courageous should not be two I things that go together. At home, but, uh, I feel like... Fox alert! So is everybody on board and ready to go? Okay, why do they turn to each other with their full body rotation? Like, there's no like head turn or anything like that. It's full it's torso. Bro, why you gotta kill my game? Just trying to be friendly. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. Fliss should just turn this boat around right now. Just go back to the shore. This is a disaster. But she needs the money. Over here. That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Uh. Eh, follow the plan. Did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. What was okay, Brad looking for? Plan. What is Brad's occupation that he knows about deep sea daylight. diving? I'm gonna go or at least, uh, the camera. sunken ships and stuff. What you got? Because the thing that Julia does later when she finds the bullets, like, hey, Brad, Brad will really Feast your eyes dig this. this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, yeah, technically. That was an sure aggressive right eye roll. Here? That eye roll is a mood. Uh, disappointed. I know we went with annoyed before, but. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? <laughs> Wait a minute. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. No, I'm quick. Touch wait. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? <sighs> we should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Bro. That stare. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm playing now. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. You guys have clearly been dating for a while, and you didn't meet in med school. I hope there might be a way in. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Make it sound dirty. Don't worry, bruh. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you You totally better. fucked it up, bro! Julia just broke up with me. I was gonna do stuff. But stuff. Ah, oh, get the picture. What is this thing on this wall thing? Yeah, we have to keep him hidden during the heist. Or the, um... The kidnapping. And I, to my knowledge, the only way to do that is to get him a little liquored up. 
So he pukes his guts out. What is this? Let me touch things. Touchy, 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 touchy. Cool. Who says things like that about a driver's license? Or a boating license? Almost got the gear good to go. <laughs> Thanks for paying is not something you want to say to your SO. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. I hear that. Still. Her certificate is fake. Is that what we're supposed to take away from it? Uh, yeah, let's point that one out. So, about that. I just wanted to let you know I'm pretty sure her diving license is fake. The seal's like pretty much coming off. And it's I can hear that. Viciously misspelled words. Explains why she's acting so weird. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. At least we can use it as a bargaining tool if she pulls any more goody two-shoe bullshit on us. But my dad's lawyers would love to hear all about it. All right, I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. See, that's a different part of the story now, isn't it? Finding that Fliss is not a cert certified diver, maybe. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. How you and always gaps in tails. I think I'm going to try to have Conrad hit on Fliss, this this uh playthrough. Because uh, to my knowledge, that doesn't mean a damn thing. Like, that doesn't go towards the ending at all. Yeah, look, 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 looks, looks good, bro. I don't know what I'm looking at. Just put this down. It did it. Bro. Hey back. Hey back? Huh? There's our buoy. There's a Conrad arm. There's our buoys. There's the sky. There's the horizon. There's the spooky water. I feel like that put in this part of the game because it's very reminiscent of the part in Until Dawn where you spy on um oh damn what are their names uh let's forget their names Brett Dalton and uh what's her face I'm almost done with these great I'm gonna talk about Until Dawn a better game in my opinion the the part at the beginning where you look through the the, the binoculars and then the thing jumps at you it's like ah oh, it's uh ash ash uh ash's introduction stop telling me how to move game you're giving me nothing she's almost let's go talk to fliss i want to touch buttons beep i did the thing you know how to use that uh uh, no. Do you know how to dive? Might wanna just let it do its thing. I don't wanna. Fine. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Cool. Tanks Look at this. The instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designate specialty. As sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. I mean, she's French, yeah? It might be a bad French translate. Bleh, let me give her the evil eye. Also, if we were fake, if I had a fake ID, I would not be leaving it out in the open so some rando jagoff could look at it. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 we 
secret beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. I thought you did that. Uh, playful. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little <laughs> clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Your boyfriend literally just said he was gonna take you to Bone Town underwater in front of me. Take the spark stick, whatever the hell it is. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Right, kids. Nope. Good to go. Shut up. Just remember the rules, please. There are no rules. This is pirate water. Let's bone tonight. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> That front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. <laughs> you have no idea what you just said. Yes? Okay. Into the briny deep. Bro, that's my sister you're talking about. Whoa. You good? More or less. I'm I'm drowning. She been flips so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. You basically are. A souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> It's not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. Again, it's a fucking plane. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable thing. Language, mister. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. What are we even here looking for? Is it just the symbolism, hey, maybe you shouldn't touch shit? Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Oh, shit, what is it? Bud Light? Pretty nice Smash. Ride. Where'd you get the cash? Uh, don't ask a lady about her money. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about Damn, her that money. Damn, that is that was more aggressive than I, I thought she was going to be. I was buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. You go to the boat salesman. Impressed. It would be my Singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Shit, my elbow hit the beepy boops. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Ah, ship. Puns. Ah. Conrad saying that, not me. It's fine. It's still off from when Alex touched it. Weather looks clear. Except for... Quick math, eight o'clock. Although it's eight o'clock to midnight is when it rainy brainstorms. We're gonna go check on the sick man. Sick boy, you down here? Of course you're down here. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. You are a bit of a bitch. But hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Think they said they were going to fuck or something. Uh, what do, what, what do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What the fuck does that mean? How would you figure it out? No, because she's going to be a 
What got Bitch. you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Thought the Nazis were cool. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. That's what the up. real horror is. Uh, you can use those old stories. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. I still don't know if that... Tells me what I need to know. But it'll do. At least now we know he is nerd boy. Hey there. How's it hanging? Uh, low and to the left. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Playful. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. You see, it's like a roofie. Uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll play After brisky. Track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? private. She's going too fast. Up you and I in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> she went. Okay, so when I was like, oh, she can. Ha, huh, you don't ask a lady about her money. Playfulness. No, she want to fuck you, man. You do not talk about a woman's money. Well, I'm like, oh, we'll play a little, you know, oh, romantic. Oh, we'll. Be like, oh, we'll talk later. No, she's like, we're going to Where Bone Town. Everyone's bone town. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Doesn't look like it's smooth sailing for bone town. Uh oh. It's getting boat town. Out here. Nobody else is invited to bone town. They must be warded off. I should have paid attention to which way those guys were coming from. I don't see them. There's my buoy. Well. Don't you look at me like that. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, Jesus Christ, do I didn't help. mean to. Maybe later, if you stay on my good side. What are the odds he... he his opening line is, I've been a bad little boy. He seems like he would. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Again, this is prime opportunity to be like, oh my god, there's something spooky. But nothing. What's that about? Don't know. There's no lifeguard. It's not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, shut up and let me handle it. We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Or no, Bone Town. I know I've been talking about Bone Town a lot, but this game is just full of it. I get out of here. Hey, get out of here. What do you think you're doing? Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, 
It's just throwing the whole pot. Face of a man that's gonna stop you from going to Bone Town. said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? Well, the rear turret. Of course the rear with Conrad. The turret. We can get in through there. I see you, you spiky bit. Could be tetanus. Uh, ladies first. Good joke, hon. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, language. I did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. My heart. So that is the ending. That is one of the endings. If you um go up too early. You, uh, you get the bends, and then you die. I don't know if that's what happens. Julia, I, like, I don't know what it. the bends are. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? I feel like they're saying rebreather too fast. Um... Fuck it! Be such a gonad. I'll be fine. You said gonad, gonad. weird. It's not Seriously? gonad. Am I dead? What's happening? What's happening? Edge Lord. Edge Lord. Bitch, are you for real? Called him an Edge Lord. What game am I playing? Squidman. Yo, there is like rust particles in this pipe. You are getting the tetanus. Oh no! Stupid down here. That's it. One chance. You get that. We're not going to Bone Town. It was fine. I'm fine. See, no problemo. Don't be such a fucking edge lord, bro. Searching in progress. Clear all day. What's on the back of it? Says it was a rescue plane, launched from a U.S. base. A lot of redacted. Lots of redacted. Okay. They were on their way to help out a ship. Oh, this is the ship that the plane that was supposed to help the ship from the beginning. The one that we're about to get to. The go 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 ship. Yep. Bullet Secrets. Hole. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Because he's a nerd. That's literally the only reason I've been given. There's nothing to do with this bed, is it? Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb wrap to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Cool. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. One of the life 
boat is missing. Do you think they were using it? Good God. No, clearly not. Bone Town, USA, oh. Mayor Boney McBonebone. He's holding something. It's a worn ass locket. Wow. What the hell happened here? He died. Look at things. They knew they were goners. What do you, what do you mean by the look of things? Cause he was slumped over in his chair. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Oh, I'm assuming if I don't use that here, it warns off the shark? That guy's got a gun! Oh, oh, oh my god! I think I went my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Gross. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. I mean, it's terrifying and then instant. So, there's that, I guess. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Edgelord, shut up. Who cares, Edgelord? Oh, Julia. Oh my god. Just don't touch anything else, please. Me, scrub lord, I'm ripped. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Straight uh, up, about to oh, okay. fist fight a shark. This was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't guess. Oh. Oh. You can't tell. He's so taken aback by it. My knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? <laughs> we almost died. I, 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 oh crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Loving, shocked. Alex, wow. I want a Telltale Games-esque like readout of what okay. everybody chose. Damn it, heartless bastards were like, no, I will not marry the shit out of you. All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? No, I want to live down there. This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Cool, I'm just trying to make some, uh, some weenies here. What do you guys want on the barbecue? I got like hot dogs and hamburgers and Julia, some ribs. Decompress here. Oh shit! Whoa, the ribs! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Uh, yeah. Cautious. Yeah. Okay. Decompress. Right. Whoa! Well, why are we all jittery? Damn, that bubble physics is bubble physics. That bubble buddy is pretty good. This is taking too long. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. So if you don't do that, if you don't decompress, no matter what ending you get, hey, she what will die. What the from what I can understand. It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. This asshole put too much gaslighter fluid on the barbecue. There was a little uh mishap with the barbecue. 
Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. I mean, it's the good. It's a so good line. Why are you paying the ocean? Why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. You're an Whatever. asshole. Who cares, right? What the I wanna best know is line read in the game. Guys well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nice Dude, bro, I just met you. Come up and let's celebrate. Congrats. Flish just met everybody. It's like, fuck yeah, I'm getting that dick tonight. Mr. Curator. You're writing about me. Good stuff, I hope. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers. What is that so that the shake of the head? Brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Well, Alex is literally trying to mar marry into money. That's Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. You could say that, I guess. And there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. That's a lie. 